Hi everyone, uh, you're watching John FX and I'm going to make a quick overview of the market for tomorrow, 12th November. I'll share with you my ideas and where I will be looking for possible entry points. And of course, let's see what happened uh, today. I had some trades and uh, Euro dollar starting with uh, that pair. I remember I had a trade here which was floating and it's closed today with uh, just a break even. I am going to show you here on the chart. So that's the, the trade uh, I had, you see it's closed with uh, just 60 cents profit, um, well also minus swap and uh, uh, well the, the market went back in our channel and then it started to break out the channel when it got me out of this trade I was uh, still um, thinking that it will continue the way down and so I actually placed the next trade uh, manually by myself with the uh, help of the EA. So you can see just uh, I actually recorded quickly that trade. Uh, I uh, placed it, pressed uh, the sell and um, it closed half positions and um, moved the stop into break even. And here's the result of that trade. You can see it was not very big move once again. Uh, you see this closed with one uh, profit and then uh, a, a second part by trailing stop closed with another profit. You see it's actually uh, returned uh, slightly. You see, well, the market still can't um, decide, I presume, where, where to go and uh, how to behave. I mean, I still would be more towards uh, it should continue the way down. There will be some news tomorrow uh, and um, maybe it will give a little bit more movements again, but like uh, it might be until the end of the week is still going to be uh, not making big moves. Uh, anyway, so what I'm going to do, of course, um, well, at this moment, you see it's it came out from the previous area and um, not consolidating it just sits in a very very narrow look at this is like so tiny these little candles um not going to do anything at this moment because it did look like it wanted to reverse and give us a little bit shoulder and this possibly was head and i was thinking maybe it'll give a little shoulder but no it's actually even higher so quite possible it might would want to go for a bit more correction and you know maybe the oldest news with the vaccine uh euro might even get a bit more stronger so i think there will be uh, only hope that, that will be something tomorrow some kind of news they're going to give us so um Let's see where it's going to consolidate. Obviously, I'm going to tell you that it's definitely not going to do anything here. I would see if it will go back, maybe give a little bit of something around like this area. Uh, I don't know, maybe it will go a little bit up and who knows, get even higher to back to the our area previously. Uh, like I will have a pullback and uh, I will be able to place again orders in, in this area pretty much if it will just go and touch it and it's only possible will be placing one way order for a sell pending but um, we will see because at this moment I just can't say anything it's just uh, balancing and uh, I mean like I'm saying technically I would still be more towards continue the way down uh, so that's that's well we will see right now I'm just waiting a bit pound dollar just as I told you guys, as my expectation was right from this moment yesterday, uh, it's only went up a, a little bit and just consolidated, it had a jump and then came back and set around this level. So had a little bit of the breakout and, and that's pretty much it because there was no news again for Brexit. And there also will be news for, from Bank of England tomorrow. So maybe it will have a bit of consolidation somewhere and then possible to place the orders. I actually had a little bit of sales here. You see also this uh, two trades where I was placing uh, a break even. Uh, stop loss very close because worry about uh, even though it had a quite nice little chain and then I had a little bit of the wing here. It was showing quite a lot. It will continue the way down. Uh, but you see also it did a little bit and now it's just not picking up the direction. It doesn't want to give up. So it didn't continue the way, didn't break through uh, and stopped here. So I'm going to wait tomorrow before the news, possibly if there is nothing else again, unexpected consolidation. So maybe it will start to consolidate around this area. Uh, this level is plus minus. You can see at this moment is definitely uh, trying to sit above this previous little top so right here so if it will consolidate in, in in this area then I will consider a possible place in the orders it might be uh, about to see 20 pips channel so if it's this level it would be ignoring it and uh, 
if it will uh, try to go break it and maybe it will have a nice move because it does need technically a bit of correction but at this moment it gets strength from a possible positive Brexit uh, news and also this uh, COVID vaccine uh, except uh, there are some people believe that uh, the deal will not be agreed before the 15th of November so by the end of this week it's probably not going to be agreed so that's why it would have been more looking towards going down a bit uh, but again what's they going to say the Bank of England so that's that's what I'm going to do wait for this consolidation I might try to place the orders anyway uh, and uh, if it will make some movements I don't know back to this area so of course then I will look at this area but I don't think I think it will just stuck in here for for the night for the uh, Asian session so that would be my uh, possible entries for pound dollar Canadian also you see we had an order here uh, it's also worked out very small and closed me out with just a break even I also not sure if this pair to go for a bigger take profits because uh, oil is going up at this moment and so other uncertainties uh, I just think it might stuck into the side uh, sideways or so you see small movements maybe go a little bit down at this moment is just nothing too close to one level to the 31 and uh, well quite not too bad back to 130 I mean at this moment it does look like it wants to go up but um, nothing I like to place at this moment pound yen uh, pound yen also you see is expected it was consolidating here jumped only to the 140 as I thought it would and then you see it's fall back to the previous area so also the pair might uh, get stuck in uh, wherever this range you know plus minus higher lower that's why I don't see a good possible entry point uh, it was here a possible remember I was telling you if I would place orders for example here and uh, you see it moved around 40 about 50 pips so it was possible to make small profit but uh, still risking that it might stack until uh, next week you know and and if there is will be nothing Thursday Friday and suddenly they will do something on the weekend uh, with the Brexit deal then of course it could be gap with the opening of the market and if you are into one of the trades wherever it will gap jump against you then uh, it might not get you out of the stop and uh, that's the uh, risks of doing it uh, at this moment so that's why uh, I mean this Bank of England news might will give us something pretty much if I would think they will not give any Brexit news and some negative news from Bank of England then uh, yeah technically also it should continue to go down right to so have a bit of a correction so but uh, at this moment it starts to give a little bit of the channel but uh, I wouldn't do so anything just wait a bit euro pound um, actually you see it started to sit uh, in the area on a bigger time frames if you would look uh, actually on a daily time frame you can see it's a win uh, here it looks like creation of a bit of a pin bar uh, and it's touched the previous bottoms right so it's touched here at this moment it gives a little bit of the signal that I'm ready for reverse right and uh, with the uh, possible tomorrow you see it could be also once again messy with the news who knows because it will be both e European and a news for, from Bank of England uh, it can continue go either down break it or turn around so 50 50 once again or maybe stuck here if it would be not uh, big news for one or another currency but I mean technically it does look like it's it wants to turn around right now and um, this is quite strong support and there is nothing pretty much you see this is empty area until the next price uh, so um, yeah if it will break it and it might have a really big move but to break it it's definitely I think needs to be just news about Brexit okay so I don't think it will be breaking this level without the strong news uh, that's why my concern is that it, if it will be some kind of positive news for euro not as much for pound and then it's more looking to go back uh, inside the channel and go up uh, as a uh, as a nice uh, technical move uh, but uh, if nothing major it might just start to sit and consolidate here you see in that area and uh, and then have a have a good move so like we did here you see we're sitting quite a while and then I had a quite good move and now it started to sit once again um, well 
that's what I'm saying. I mean, okay, if possible to look for some trades. Um, it, you see, it's also signaling, like right? you saw that as a wing, right? Like a ping bar creating on the daily chart. This looks like a bit of a shoulder that could be had on that little shoulder in here. And so you see, once again, it all shows that it wants to go, uh, go up. Uh, to place the orders for sell it's a bit risky because again that level is too close so it could be only 20 pips or 30 plus but with this spread wider spread or slippage you might not get the you know even 10 pips in here so that's why if to place orders here only i see uh the place in the buy pending buy orders for for to see for its reverse so that's what technically technically that's what it would have been looking like i mean the swing traders who does swing trading they definitely buy now here is that what you see but um, there is still nothing to give uh, again uh, the fuel for a move so i'm going to wait a bit um, dollar yen also nothing happened today much okay a little bit down uh, went up a bit so it's in this area uh, pretty much as expected okay uh, there are some also possible American news tomorrow. Maybe they will say something. I think if it will sit in here uh, tomorrow before those kind of news, uh, or let's see for our European American session, uh, I would be looking to place the orders because now I think it could be some movements as we have uh, quite nice about to see 20 pips width of the channel and then I can have a nice, uh, well, even if it will go to 106 price, we still have about 40 pips movement and uh, if it will decide to go actually inside the channel i also have about the same distance if it will go for very small uh, trades okay so but um, like i'm saying at this moment still uh, it looks like we are in a downtrend channel it gives a bit of a pins uh the weeks and so um, more looking towards the down turning around but uh, with this news you never know so that's why i'm going to look at that area tomorrow if nothing happens during the night. Australian dollar, well, so guys, you see, that's what uh, I have been telling you yesterday when I had these orders, right? I had to buy and sell pending orders, and I told you that through the night I should really cancel it. I always cancel it, but I said, okay, I'll leave it, and it's probably going to take me in the wrong trade. And you see, it's exactly did what I thought it would. It got me into a buy, and it didn't move uh, enough, even my 10 pips, to get me out of the trade with a small profit. So now it's just sitting and doesn't want to move anywhere. Uh, well, the only hope that it's not breaking that level yet, it's tried, didn't touch my stop. You see, came back and then tried again. And uh, so um, we will see then. Uh, maybe it will actually uh, continue in this triangle and then continue the way up because it does look like uh, a bit of, uh, you, you see, shoulder, maybe it was ahead, this little shoulder, maybe in double tops, it more looks like it wants to turn around and has wings, you see the wings, 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 wicks on the daily charts uh, and uh, so, yeah, it's, it's a quite a battle, also a lot of wicks here at the bottom so um, that's why I'm saying it still has a little bit of that room to go to the stop and uh, maybe tomorrow it will find this energy to do it before hitting my stop. Uh, so that's why I'm, I just go and leave it as it is. I mean the stop loss is, I could have moved it a little bit down because uh, it might go down a bit, you see, with the previous weeks uh, and then uh, turn around, but I'm going to leave it as it is because if it will go down and the, the smaller stop loss would be less to cover but anyway so leaving it as it is and uh, if you are looking for trades of course uh, if you would be looking thinking to get in or not i uh, like i'm saying it's at this moment it shows with all of those uh, tops and wigs uh, like it wants to go down but uh, it might end up in this triangle as i'm saying and then triangle break out and continue the way up instead um, I have here, let's say, if it will get, but this, uh, you see, it shows uh, 13th November a little bit too far, so it's on the 11th, 12th tomorrow, so it might still sit in here, you know, the whole day tomorrow, you never know. You see, at this moment, it's a bit wide area if to place the orders, 30 pips channel, for example, if it will try to break out tomorrow, I mean, okay, it's 40 pips to go to the previous top and even further, of course, to the next top, then uh, maybe possible to look at this area and place the orders i mean yes this could be a bit corrected with the tops uh slightly see these tops and then to see where that will be tomorrow so right now i'll just wait a little bit because um, 
uh, it, it shows nothing, very, very narrow range. Gold, okay, uh, as you can see, with gold is interesting situation is uh, expected to go down, right? It started to go up yesterday, remember I was telling you that it quite possibly could create us a bearish flag. Uh, at the same time, I told you that I don't see any point for gold really to go up. Uh, with the situation at this moment, uh, with all of this positive news with COVID and uh, no stimulus, fix, fiscal stimulus or something, I don't know, maybe tomorrow they will be saying something. Um, so yeah, that was possible to actually place the order from here to sell, uh, but I didn't do it. So on, on, on here, and uh, now uh, you see we are back down again below 1870, 1870 and uh, so um, quite possible we'll continue the way down i still more towards uh, down uh, and um, to look for the entry point i would just uh, i mean they started to have consolidation i don't like when gold makes such very narrow consolidations uh, maybe it will go back to this 1870 uh, price maybe go a little bit in here and then i would consider possible entry point i mean it might stuck in here, I mean, it's not, it's, it has to go, go out, you see, it's a 30 minute chart, I mean, so go on one hour chart, it's even narrow, it's like very, very tiny, so because nobody is doing anything at this moment, everybody just waiting, nobody wants to buy or sell, uh, or everybody is already bought and just sit here, because, uh, you know, after such a big drop, uh, some people may think they should really turn around. Um, you see here is very hard situation, I would say, definitely. I mean, it does look like double bottom, but still not very good. So I wouldn't consider it yet uh, as a good turning point. And uh, it still didn't try to break 1850. Uh, is a previous bottom, right? So at this moment, you see the the situation for me, except it had a bit of a jump, you see it went up and then it fall. So the moment it started to fall, everybody started to sell and then suddenly it turned around. Uh, and I think now it could be quite a um, uh, situation, just trying to warn you guys again, careful with this. Uh, because I think uh, also people think if it will continue the way down, right? We have this definitely that level should be reached. But what they can do, they might uh, fool everyone. Okay, it start to break 1850 because a lot of people know. Some would be definitely thinking it will not break 1850. From here we will be all buying, buying like they did here, right? It touched it and everybody started just to buy, buy, buy. So as you see, it's run away and then suddenly stopped. It didn't uh, get even to 1900. And it started to consolidate and then fall again. Everybody just started to, to sell and thinking it might get to maybe 1850 back again or breaking it. But no, it's turned around. So it's it could be lots of manipulation right now. I can uh, see it. And uh, with the situation, it just if you think logically, like let's say you have big guy right with the uh lots of money, what would you do? How would you fool everyone? So you would think uh I think to fool everyone is just to make everyone feel like we're going to break 1850 uh, maybe and uh, everybody would be just thinking it will go down to 1804 and so instead of that that's why I see I draw this level just to see where they can uh, fool us around and then just think if even people think it will break slightly 1850 and they started to place the buy orders or will be buying from here right let's just think it's not going to go too far then um, because it's pretty much nothing around here then you just think where they all place their stops uh, at least like 100 pips you see the price is 1834 or 200 pips is 1830 something roughly like this which goes slightly with the level of the trend so that's what I think might happen uh, it might have a bit of like let's see this consolidation and maybe go down maybe we'll not even break it first and that's what it might do try to go to 1850 again full everyone so everybody start to buy placing the uh, stops and then it might have a little reverse and break it hard to collect all those stops but not going all the way far to fool those ones who actually would be selling from here and take place and they take profits around this level uh, and well selling slightly away and having the stops maybe above 1850 so that's why it could be like a, a really interesting situation right here so that's what my concern and I honestly don't know what to do at this moment so I'm just thinking to wait and see uh, 
well, if it will consolidate, like I'm saying, and we maybe go back to this area, then I would uh, consider to place uh, the orders, but once again to go for a smaller targets, like what I'm trying to tell you is warn you about going for bigger targets. Uh, and uh, that's why going for smaller targets would be less risky. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I would look at this area first, uh, and uh, then we will see what to do, right? If it will go 18.15, then we'll see, we'll be trying to break it or just touch it and walk uh, and turn around again. Uh, and then uh, I still would look at uh, wherever the area is, I don't know. At this moment, just <laughs> that's my uh, idea of what to think of. Um, of course, if it will try to break up again, then um, we will see once again the, the same 1919 hundred price if it will try to stock out there somewhere so okay let's just uh, wait uh, and see um, remember guys I had um, New Zealand pairs you see New Zealand dollar euro New Zealand New Zealand yen so those two pairs didn't work uh, didn't touch my uh, entries and euro New Zealand uh, actually had the entry you see uh, it's bought and then turned around made me loss and then it's uh, recovered so uh, and uh, here is um, I have a recovery. See, that's what I placed one way order. Actually, both ways orders would be worked out much better. Well, like usually I do and uh, bring me more trades, uh, uh, profits. So you see, that's my buy order, which I had um, uh, pending order worked out with the loss. And here is a recovery. So it's recovered it and made me profit on top. So I'm quite pleased with it. Uh, it's always happening at night when I was not watching or sleeping. And um, yeah, so it, it's actually uh, end up with uh, a bit of a profit today for me. Uh, and I'm not going to do anything. Obviously, the uh, Bank of New Zealand didn't announce those negative uh, rates. I presume because of this uh, positivity with COVID. And so that's why New Zealand got a bit stronger instead of, uh, you know, going the other way around. So to be honest, guys, at this moment, I can see that New Zealand yen also is giving quite nice channel. That maybe possible place in new orders but again maybe both directions because new zealand is actually getting stronger uh, and uh, there is still um, another uh, top where it might continue the way up and uh, but at the same time it's you see it's in a big channel and uh, it could uh, turn around okay so you see here is a really nice one and so, like I'm saying, a lot of swing traders are waiting for to sell here, definitely want to sell. Uh, but it's it's stopped a little bit and uh, it's with yen now, right? So what is going to be with yen? And uh, I think everybody just waiting, what's the next news with this COVID vaccine? So um, no other pairs at this moment I wanted to go for. Dollar Swiss maybe also did move a little bit just as expected, closer to the, uh, another price level so well maybe some bit of consolidation a little bit more in placing the orders both directions uh, once again you see it's uh, the, the market is trying to be a bit careful because nobody knows what to do and where to go at that point uh, everybody waiting some unexpected news again so that's it for now guys uh, happy trading everyone and I see you next video bye